But I used to demonstrate sometimes three times a week, three ta- outside the Israeli embassy. Sometimes three times a week. Sometimes we were five demonstrators, sometimes we were 50, sometimes we were 500. But we used to demonstrate. And quite often, when I demonstrated, there would come London Jews would pass by. and would say, you are a Jew. How are you demonstrating against Israel? Why do you support the Arabs? My answer used to be, I don't support the Arabs. So I said, who do you support? I said, I support the oppressed. If I see an Israeli soldier oppressing a Palestinian, I will support the Palestinian, not because he's Palestinian, because he's oppressed. And if I see the same man oppressing his wife, I will oppose him and support the wife because he became an oppressor and she is the oppressed. And I can, the same person, support him against Israeli oppression and oppose him on the question of his wife. And if I see the wife oppressing a child, I will support the child not because it is a child, because it is oppressed. And I oppose her because she is an oppressor. My rule is I oppose oppression. I don't divide the world into Jews and Gentiles. I divide the world into oppressors and oppressed. That's my division. You don't like it? Fuck off. You will support Jews even if they put Palestinians in gas chambers because they are Jews. Your politics go by ethnic loyalty. You check people by their identity. I check people by their behavior. If the behavior is negative, I fight it. If it's positive, I support it. And my division is, if people ask me, who are are you for? I say, I am for the oppressed. Everywhere, always. And I don't care about the identity of the oppressor. If it's my father, I'd be against him. If it's my prime minister, I'd be against him. I am against oppression. And that's why I stand to this day. And I think most of you, for you, it's not a big revelation. Because more or less, most of you accept the same principles. So uh, that's it. That's all I have to say.